Hi, I'm Phil Story from Glow, and we're on a mission to help businesses do more with their website. Before we start with today's video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also check out our website for more helpful tips and advice. In this video, I'm going to give you four tips that you need to be mindful of when you're installing a new plugin on your WordPress website. Try and think of it a bit like shopping on Amazon. You'll look at things like reviews, photos, shopping for plugins is a little bit similar. So here's four things to look out for. Tip number one, look at the reviews. If you haven't already, check out our video on how to install a new plugin on your website. When you search for a plugin, each one will display a star rating. Remember, just like products on Amazon do. These are reviews by other people who've installed and used this plugin. The rating is out of five, and it goes without saying that you want to find one with a five out of five rating. Give those with average to low ratings a very wide berth. Tip number two, is it compatible with the version of WordPress that your website is running? This one's a little bit more technical, however, it's dead easy to establish. So when you're looking at the search results of plugins, you'll see that each one is contained in its own little box. In the bottom right corner of that box, you'll see one of two messages. Either it'll say untested with your version of WordPress, or it'll say compatible with your version of WordPress. If it says untested with your version of WordPress, don't install it. Doing so could cause any number of future problems with your website. You want the plugins that are up to date and fully tested and compatible with your version of WordPress. Check out our video on how to keep your version of WordPress up to date. Tip number three, look at the number of active installations. So back to the search results this time, you'll see a number in the bottom left corner of the information box for each plugin. It'll say something like a thousand active installations or a million active installations. The higher the number, the better, generally. Low numbers don't necessarily point to a problematic plugin, they just haven't been used as much as those with higher numbers. So in short, you can be more confident of your website remaining stable and secure by installing a plugin that has a high number of active installations. Tip number four, check when the plugin was last updated. It's super important that plugins are kept up to date by the people who have created them. If they aren't, they're easy to hack and can consequently cause you lots of trouble with your website. To establish when a particular plugin was last updated, look in the bottom right corner of the information box and you'll see a little note that says last updated and then an indication of when it was last updated. The most reliable plugins are updated very regularly, sometimes weekly. So look out for ones with a very recent update. Now, a lot of this is just common sense. You wouldn't buy a one-star product on Amazon with crap photos, so don't install a plugin on WordPress with rubbish reviews that's not been updated for two years. For more tips just like this, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out our website.